name is Juliet Reese. I'm the owner. See, I love ice cream. Wanted to have a business, um, some kind of sweets, uh, a neighborhood type business, and you know, finally decided on ice cream rather than a chocolate or a bakery or something like that. And found a spot in this neighborhood and just thought it would be a good fit. It was the soda fountain and the back bar um, and the marble counter all came from Mackinac City, Michigan. The rest of it is actually new, built around uh, around that in the same style. But um, yeah, the fountain itself, the from the late 40s, that's what actually carbonates the water. Um, and then the back bar is probably from the late 30s. Um, usually about 16 or 18. It depends. You know, we just change, change them all the time. all the time, kind of our standards, and the other ones change out. They could change every day. It just depends. It depends on how quickly we run out of them. We just, we come up with a new idea. We have several syrups, but then we have, um, we have just plain sugar syrups, but we probably have, I know at one time we had 75 different herb oh tinctures. Um, I don't know if we quite that many now, but we can just do just about any flavor um, of those tinctures. Herb. Everything. Yeah, we bake our bread, make the pickles, make the waffle cones, anything that goes in the ice cream, like the cookies, brownies, everything's made here. So we make our root beer from scratch, from herbs, teas. Um, kind of the standards, the mint chip, milk chocolate, vanilla are probably the ones we sell the most of, um, but there are others that are kind of ones that people ask for all the time. Um, Butterscotch is one, but like when we have Trace Leche's cake, there's just it just changes all the time. We have a lot of regular customers, so they like to do things they like to get a different flavor. Some people come in here and get the same thing every single day. Depends on the time of day. Weekends are all always busier. Um, probably a few hundred a day. Could be even more depending on the individual weekends. Yeah, it's a very, um, very close knit neighborhood. Um, yeah, a lot of regular customers. Um, see a lot of the same people several times a week. Um, wow. Yeah, this is definitely a good neighborhood. That's one of the reasons I picked this spot. It's, um, it's definitely, even though it's only a couple of blocks, it's a uh, very close. You know. Okay, so um, is this your first time at an ice cream bar? Yes. My first time. What flavors did you guys get? <laughs> yeah. We got blueberries, cinnamon swirl, and coffees. Coffee and uh, brownies. Uh, did you like it? Was it tasty? Is this your first time at the ice cream bar? It is not. We're locals. Oh, do you live around here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we live on Mars. Oh, wow, yeah. Um, what flavors did you get? Well, I chose the coconut vegan chocolate chip. What did you choose? I chose the lemon and uh, the blackberry sorbet. And I chose the uh, banana pudding. Do you like it? Yes, it's delicious, but the milk chocolate is the best. That's your, how often would you say you come here? Oh, not that often. Maybe once a month. Is this your first time with the ice cream bar? No. Yeah. <laughs> you want to sit on my well, Yes. There's. There's, there's the time. time. What flavors did you get? Huckleberry. I got the uh, honey, caramelized honey. Chocolate. Sorbet. Yeah. And we get the raspberry, I don't know what the ra it was a raspberry mix. Oh, are, you, uh, are you guys locals? Is that why? Uh, they're visiting from Sacramento. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, and do you like it? I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. It's a great place.